Good morning guys! So today is our fifth day here in the quarantine hotel and there is good news. We are going home! <laughs> Finally. So last night I was so stressed because um, I've read the email that it says uh, I read um, the laboratory email they said that they will come in our hotel at 12 midnight to 6 a.m. So the whole night I'm kind of stressed reading a lot of reviews and stuff with this laboratory and I am so glad that um, on time that I call Monsi that said oh my love I'm stressed because of this and stuff he, um, the phone ring and then they said that the security said that mom someone um, came here to swap you and are you um, what you call this are you scheduled for a swap today and I said yes and then yes finally so last night uh, actually in the morning at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. they swabbed me and Tria so unfortunately Tria needs to be swabbed because um, the reason is they said I am um, partially vaccinated and because she is reg registered in BOQ which is for me it's really annoying and stressful the whole time that I'm thinking about it and uh, yeah we'll talk about it later but for now let's just be happy that we are going home so finally today is the last day um, uh, I already called the reception so I said like I'm not that excited to go home um, it's just my daughter really want to be outside because she doesn't deserve to be inside the house she doesn't deserve to be like black inside not in the house in the room and I feel bad for her. She would have cried last night when the two uh, swabber left the room. She cried like, oh, anyway, I'm eating right now my breakfast. I showed you guys my breakfast. So we get sausage and egg and then rice. So a year. So about that, have a look at the time. So yeah. So when the two swabber left last night, um, so yeah basically so um, so yeah so last night when the two sober left she, she cried a lot she really cried a lot she really cried. I don't know why she cried, I, but I'm think because she really want to go outside. And then she's the first one went to the door when they opened the door, and I was like, oh, I feel bad. And then told to them, oh, um, she really want to go outside because of these things and stuff. So we're just lucky that they sent straight away the result at six something, six. I don't know what time they send the result. I'll have a look. So the result came out at 6 a.m. It's not exactly 6 a.m. but 6.01 a.m. So and it says it's negative. Well, I've been like testing myself because I bring some um, uh, I bring some lateral floor with me checking myself as well not to be like stressed out and stuff but yeah finally yeah, we're going home and i already called the receptionist and told them about the result it was negative and then i got it and then she checked everything as well so yeah <laughs> we're just happy i'm just happy because i'm getting crazy here as well like it's not really like being quarantined like this is not really healthy at all especially the night so yeah, speaking. So being quarantined is not really healthy, especially if you have a child, if you have a baby. Like thinking about when you're gonna be swab, what will be the result for your swab, and it's madness. I, I'll think a lot of stuff, and I was thinking to go back in the UK. Like I told my husband, you know what? If they won't swab me now, and then I wouldn't get a negative result, I'm definitely gonna make a scene, and then just 
just go back in UK. I don't care how much I'm gonna spend. I don't care how much I'm gonna borrow with my credit card. Just I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go back in UK. Like you know, just being so overacting about this stuff. But yeah, to tell you seriously, um, hoping that this thing will be finished soon because being in a quarantine is not really really healthy. I swear. And then when it was in isolation back in the, in UK when me and Monzi got positive to COVID, um. We was, um, I, I was, we, we were on isolation for like 10 days, but then no one will, there's no security guard, there's no anything, but we didn't go out, we just that the, the policy change when it was on the six days of our isolation and we did tests of ourselves and it was negative already and we have no one anyone near us to buy stuff for us so as long as we follow the protocol and stuff then that will fine we we didn't left house i told him don't and then um the government in the uk changed the the, the uh, um the restriction again from six to seven days you can get if you get fasted in Bristol within 24 hours you can go out so yeah we did so that's it um at this time it's so different like because there's a receptionist there's a police downstairs you won't be able to go out and you feel like you're in prison so I'm just really glad that today I'm definitely going home so yeah I would ready to call my mom Exactly. When I read the result, I said, "Mom, I'm going home, finally." And then they said, "Oh, they received the message as well because I give the contact number, my mom contact number with the laboratory before when I when I registered." So yeah, um, I am happy that we're going home. I am sad that I spend a lot of money. Like we didn't do anything much yet, and then we already spend money. So I need to be <laughs> careful how I spend my money now, because I don't want to be like I'm over spending the money. And hindi madali kumita. So yeah, um, just for now, this is her vlog. <laughs> no, we'll bring you home, of course. <laughs> I'll try my best to vlog. We'll prepare now. Uh, just. Uh, Tria just finished eat her breakfast and I'm currently eating my breakfast. Well, she doesn't want to eat this kind of breakfast anyway. This kind of heavy for her and then she just ate bread and the peanut butter. <laughs> like, she's been eating that one since day two. <laughs> she doesn't really eat this kind of stuff and then, well, if I'm gonna make a nice breakfast for her, she's gonna eat but she's not used to eat like uh, rice things and like this in the morning and yeah. Hey, all right, guys. Oh, I'll be back later when we already done packing, fixing the room, and yay, we're going home. <laughs> hey, guys. So we are done packing. Yeah, in in ano kana si Tria? Um, nilalaro ko na lang siya kasi we're still waiting for my mom. They are on their way, and the luggage are ready, and we're gonna go check out. So finally, we will going home. I can't wait because si Tria is super boring na siya, and I feel so bad na ganito kami eh, na uwi kami na ganito diretso sa hotel tapos alam mo yung char. Wala <laughs> nang masabi. But anyway, yeah, we're done. We're going home. Outfit of the day, check. Dress and Tria is wearing dress as well with her leggings. And yeah. Hopefully we didn't left anything here in this hotel. And ayun, tuloy-tuloy na tayong makauwi ng bahay. So, I'll see you guys later in the house. We we're just waiting for my mom. They said na nag-taxi na sila papunta dito. So, may uwi-uwi ka na ba? No, hindi ako uwi-uwi. Ang akin lang. Char. Labas na labas! <laughs> Naku, uwi-uwi. Labas na labas ako. Oh my gosh, ha? Ang jirap nang naka-quarantine. Tapos may mga ganito. Just ko, this is the last time na nauwi ako na may ganitong itchoserang quarantine. Kahit anong mangyari, I'm not going home. This is gonna be the first and last. Kung ako lang, walang problema. But I'm with Tria. And I feel bad for her. So, anyway, well, let's just enjoy this day. And then, 
let's just celebrate that we are going home so um i have to go to the watson first and then we're going to plant trias christianing yay yeah so we've been again to tria hopefully this week or next week so yeah we'll keep you updated guys we'll upload this vlog tonight so we'll see you later Be. Be. Hindi to picture. Hindi <laughs> to picture, picture na lang kayo dyan. <laughs> ah. Yay! SNR! Hoy! We're here in the SNR! We're here in the SNR! We're here in the SNR!